Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, bienvenidos todos personas. Guten Tag. Año aseo sin chao. Doble ultra. Machi. Listen, whatever the language, whatever the ethnicity, we welcome you to our International Church of God by Faith First and Third Monday Prayer. Once again, I'm your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District. On behalf of your host team, Pastor Michael Stevenson, uh, also in the name of Jesus. And so we thank God for this opportunity to come to you for our first and third Monday prayer. And so I am Minister Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, under the leadership of presiding bishop and senior pastor uh, James McKnight, Jr. And so we thank God for our district elder, the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District. But as I said, there's no one district greater than another. The scripture says we are the body of Christ and members in particular. And so regardless of language or ethnicity or where we might be in the world, whether you're live on this call or whether you're joining us in the playback, we thank God for you. Now, I am elated. I'm crunk. I'm lit. I am on 10. Glory to God. Because the scripture says in Hebrews 12, our God is a consuming fire. And so he did say, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. So that consuming fire burns within me. But one of the reasons uh, why I am elated and I'm fired up and grateful this morning is because uh, we do have uh, a dynamic prayer leader. That's uh, Pastor Johnny Laws, uh, Northwestern New York District, uh, 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 District uh, Superintendent Reginald Damon, we thank God, uh, and a District Elder and also a Ruling Elder. And so, listen, we thank God for Elder Laws, and he's on standby, ready to be poised at the tip of the spear. And so our focus is this, and it would be wrong of me not to say this before we receive Pastor Laws. Our focus is that we're praying that opposition and threats to this international church of God by faith would be canceled and nullified. I said this before as we were gathering on the call. I said that, do you not know that there are demonic principalities? There are, there's an antichrist spirit that's in the, it's at work in the hearts of men and women. And don't you know that that spirit uh, has been levied against um, our crusade and all of the work of God that's going on in Augusta and about to break through and happen and launch out? Don't you know that there are demonic forces that don't want people in Augusta to be saved, don't want churches to be planted, don't want um, the kingdom of God to be established? Do you not know that there are already those that are seeking to hinder and conspire against or, or to think of ways and come together and do things? things, whether they're scammers, people that are impersonate our leaders. Sometimes you see them, they jump on social media and stuff, they pretend to be uh, a ruling elder or pretend to be a bishop or pretend to be this pastor or whatnot and the other. Don't you know there are already those that conspire to uh, hinder the 102nd General Assembly? Don't you know that we should know? We have local and on district level, those who conspire against, those who don't want uh, our office in Jacksonville to be successful. Glory to God. Those conspiring against financial solutions, trying to hinder it. But listen, the word of God is clear. He said in Isaiah that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Jesus said in Matthew 16, I will build my church. And the gates of hell. Gates speaks of your big weapons. The gates was the, that, that was the most fortified part of, a, of an ancient biblical city. Glory to God was the gates of the city. It's where you kept your strongest fighters, where you kept your biggest spears and swords and weapons. He said that, glory to God, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Not that they won't fight, but they will not win. And in fact, they already have lost. Glory to God. And so with that as our understanding, let's receive now uh, Pastor Johnny Laws, and let's not just be spectators, but let's join the man of God and raise our voices over this international church in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father, we come as a united body 
in prayer, believing that your word, O oh God, will reign forth supremely in our lives. Father, we say thank you for being bread when we're hungry, water when we're thirsty. Thank you for being our healer and our deliverer. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we come, God, beseeching you, O oh God, that you would bless us, heal the body of Christ, God, according to your word, that if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I heal hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Father, according to your word, the sweet psalmist, third, Psalm 37 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the blade of grass and wither as a green herb. Trust in the Lord, and so thou, and so, <clears throat> and to do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Father, again in your word, you said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the enemy, of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So, Father, we thank you for the word that tells us we shall not be afraid for the terror that <clears throat> by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. So, Father, our trust and confidence is in you, O oh God. We have walked with thee, God. You have proven yourself to us, God. So, Father, we trust you, O oh God, for your word that declares unto us, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that is risen or shall rise against us in judgment thou shalt condemn. So, Father, we trust you for our loved ones, our family, God. Wherever they are, God, for the eyes of the Lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good. So, Father, we thank you, O oh God, for being wrapped up in your word, God. We thank you and we plead the blood of Jesus over the church of God by faith, God, over the body of Christ, this finger, this hand of the Lord. So, Father, we thank you for your anointing that destroys every yoke. We thank you for healing our minds, God. We declare and decree that we are safe. Oh, God, in the arms of the Lord. Father, we will stand united in prayer, locked arm in arm, God, believing with one voice. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, even at the Tower of Babel, oh, God, you said, behold, the people are one, and there is nothing that they cannot do. So, Father, we thank you, oh, God, for united in spirit. Father, your word says, told Peter that the enemy desires to sift you as wheat, but I prayed for you that your faith Fails not. So, Father, our faith will not fail. We will stand. We will walk circumspectly before you, God, that the protection of the Lord will be upon us. Everywhere we go, God, we declare and decree the strength of the Lord in our souls and in our spirits shall reign mightily, God, that we, O oh God, shall devour the enemy according to your word, because nothing can stand against your word, for it is power in the name of Jesus, and you cannot fail. So, Father, therefore, we who are wrapped up in you will not fail. So, Father, we thank you this morning for the declaration of prayer. We thank you for being able to talk with you, O God, to abide in you, God. For your word declared unto us that, O Lord, teach my hands to war. O Father, so we are in a war, God. Bless us to understand that each and every moment we are warriors, we are soldiers, we are victorious, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So, Father, we thank you, O oh God. We declare the healing of our minds, O oh God, that we are free because he who the Son sets free is free indeed. So, Father, we thank you this morning for power. You said that no weapon formed against us shall, shall prosper, and we believe your word, God. So we walk in victory. We will walk in faith, believing, God, that thou art our protector, and thou shalt protect us 
O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to walk humbly before you, God, to resist the devil, that he shall flee from us, and you will exalt us in due time. So, Father, we thank you this morning, God, for what your word has declared. We thank you for walking in power. We thank you, O oh God, for our healing this morning. We thank you for believers by faith, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this corporate prayer, God. We thank you for every soul, every individual. We pray that you will bless their families, their loved ones, their neighbors, God. Father, bless every church to increase, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, and oh God, bless us, oh God, to be victorious in everything that we do, oh God, to be prosperous, even as our soul prospers in the name in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare and decree that the work is done, God. Father, bless us to be watchful and sober under prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, that we may be on God, Father, knowing that the enemy who seeks to, to devour us, God, even his thoughts we conquer. For you said, O oh God, if two or three walking in the green, touching us green, anything upon the earth, God, that the Father will work it out according to his will. So, Father, we know that you intend for us to be free. You have made us free. So let us, O oh God, stand in freedom. Let us not take it for granted anything that you have declared unto us or anything that we shall walk and do in and for thee in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you this morning. Father, let our hearts be clear. Let our minds, O oh God, be focused. Father, that is about you, not about us. Father, it's about the kingdom of righteousness, God, truthfulness in the matchless name of Jesus. You told us to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto us. So, Father, let our focus uh, be on you, knowing that you are a God of war. O oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, your word said, if God be for us, who can be against us? So, Father, we thank you now for your word. We thank you for blessing us today, God, for you have already prepared the way, God, that we should walk upright in thee. So, Father, we thank you for being that bread, that light, God, that lighteth the way to victory, O oh God. You said in your word, O oh Lord, let thy word be in our hearts that we sin not against thee. So, Father, your word again declares that sin is a reproach to any any people, but righteousness exalteth the nation. So, Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your word this morning. Father, we declare it done in the matchless name of Jesus and the people of God said, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. The answer to the promises of God, they are yea and amen. They are yes and amen. So be it, God. Hallelujah. That's our answer to the promises of God. When you promised us and said uh, in Proverbs 18, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and they are saved. Hallelujah. Our answer is yes and amen. Elder Laws, hallelujah, God. He declared and reminded us of what you said in Isaiah. No weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Our answer to the promises of God they are 
yes and amen. Hallelujah. When he said in Psalms 37, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green earth. Our answer to the promises of God, they are yes and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God this morning for you, uh, Elder Laws. We thank God for you, man of God. Uh, thank God for prophetic prayer uh, this morning, simply calling forth what God has already spoken. Uh, he said in Second Peter chapter 1, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in our hearts. Glory to God. And so we thank God for you. And all of us uh, that have come behind uh, Elder Laws at the tip of the spear, crying out over this international church of God by faith. Listen, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm, I'm, I'm fully persuaded. I'm convinced that opposition and threats to this international church of God by faith, they are thwarted. They've been canceled. They've been upended. I, I'm fully persuaded because the word of God has confirmed it already. Glory to God. Um, I, I, listen, it doesn't matter what it is uh, on an, from an international perspective. Glory to God. Uh, our our, our uh, advances in Augusta and all of the plans uh, of crusade and church planning, glory to God, life building, the kingdom of God establishing that's going on in Augusta. I thank God that there's no weapon that's formed against the efforts of the church there that will cause us to be stopped. I thank God that uh, uh, concerning our 102nd General Assembly, glory to God, I thank God, hallelujah, the true light. I thank God that there's no weapon that's formed. There's no plot. There is no uh, schemes, hallelujah, by an organization or individuals, uh, a terrorist or anyone seeking to do harm. I thank God that those threats are canceled and upended. Glory to God. Um, financial solutions in our national office. Glory to God. I, I thank God that online, glory to God, threats are canceled. I scan and con artists, those seeking to impersonate members and officials of the church. I thank God that their, glory to God, their sword is turning back on them uh, even at this moment. I thank God internationally, it's not just here, uh, all down in Haiti, glory to God, amidst the bedlam, amidst uh, the anarchy and the things, the, uh, the, 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 the crime and all of these things that are happening. I thank God that the opposition and threats even now are being turned and canceled in Jesus' name, all in Jamaica, glory to God, all over uh, in Monrovia, on the African continent, glory to God. We're talking about threats and opposition being canceled. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me, glory to God, of Daniel chapter 3. You know how it was when they, uh, Nebuchadnezzar had commanded that all should fall down and worship uh, the golden image, glory to God. Um, we know that Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, uh, we call Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we know that they were not going to bow. We know what they told uh, the king. He took those, uh, he got his best boys, his strongest soldiers, uh, to throw them into the fire. Uh, but the scripture says in verse 22 that the flame of the fire, it killed the men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The weapon that they had formed actually turned to kill them. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose up in haste and said, Didn't we now cast three men bound into the midst of of the fire, and they said, they answered and said, true, O king. He said, I see four men loose in the form of the fourth. They have no hurt also, uh, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. They're walking around in the fire, walking around in the fire, having conversation with the Son of God. Glory to God. Listen, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that will rise against thee in judgment shall be condemned. Hallelujah. Listen, I thank God his word is right. His word is right. If it was right for the Hebrew boys, then it's right for the International Church of God by faith. Glory to God. We thank God that's who we serve, and that's the God 
That is the God of this church. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus the Christ, the Godhead. Hallelujah. Father, Son, and the Spirit of God. Listen, we thank God for you uh, joining us on this first and third International Church of God by Faith. Uh, We thank God for this prayer session, this prayer time. Let's go forward today. Let's continue to prophesy. Let's be bold. Hallelujah. Do you not remember that they didn't ask? Hallelujah. Glory to God. They asked them in Acts. They said, uh, glory to God. The church said, Lord, Grant unto your service boldness, glory to God, in the midst of their threatenings, in the midst of uh, all of their uh, their demands that the Jesus not be taught and not be preached, is to give us boldness, God, that we might be all the more bold to blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in your holy mountain. That's what we should walk in today, knowing that opposition and threats are already canceled. God has already shut them down. So you have nothing left to be but bold and courageous to raise up your voice and lift up your voice like a trumpet all over these lands. Listen, go forward. Let's make it a great day. In Jesus' name, amen, hallelujah, and glory to God.